Okay, before you say anything, yes, I do have this same wig in like 47 different colors. But it doesn't matter because each and every one of them will look good on me. Indeed, does this one because I can make anything look good and that's on period. This is going to be a quick video because I was kind of just like in the mood to film and I'm like, what should I film? I really hope this isn't going to be a boring video, but you know what? We're just going to get a little bit vulnerable. You guys are going to get to know a little bit more about me because I'm going to be sharing something, you know, a little bit personal with you guys. The only reason why I feel somewhat comfortable doing this is because I know not a whole lot of people are going to see it. So the people who do see it, you guys are going to get to know me a little bit more and see, you you know things that I feel um, a connection to so much so that I decided to keep it in my memories box um, just because. If you're new to my channel my name is Timmy Saint like Timmy Tanner but I'm not average period. Okay so my memories box isn't all that it's literally just like an old old Uggs box okay and I started this when I was in high school either like sophomore or junior year i want to say you should feel special very special because not a whole lot of people know what's in this box or has seen this box or let them know know that i even have this box okay and the only reason why i do is because you know i'm a i'm kind of a romantic you know what i'm saying like i like <laughs> I like, you know, keeping memories, especially because my memory is like absolute garbage, okay? So it's something that I need to do to keep track of things that happen in my life or else they will literally just fade away. And so, so yeah, I don't even know what, I don't even know what to start with, to be honest. Um, so the first thing that I see on top is this card that I got for my birthday. And it's from my friend, um, one of my closest friends i don't know if we're still friends or not but i haven't talked to her in a minute because i'm kind of mad at her but she doesn't know that <laughs> but i mean nothing is really that serious it's just the fact that we kind of stopped talking a little but um it's my friend christina she sent me like a little picture of her i don't know if she wants me to show y'all but this is when she was in the military and um she's back now but like when she was gone i missed her like crazy and so she has sent me that there's also a letter that she wrote me while she was in um while she was in the military because obviously she's not allowed to have her phone and so literally i remember the day that i got this letter i was missing her so much like as soon as i seen that she had wrote this to me i literally broke down in tears and so I was just like reading it and I'm like, man, like, and she's like telling me everything that's like going on, you know, how it is, you know, what they're making her do, like the people that are there. And man, like getting this letter from her, it just, <sighs> that was the fastest I've ever been brought to tears, bro. The next thing is this concert ticket. It says floor seating, Live Nation presents BTS World Tour. Yes, um, <laughs> I don't know how to explain this phase, but it happened. So if you're new to my channel, my name is Timmy Saint, and today I'm going to be here to tell you what it's like <laughs> to breathe the same air <laughs> as BTS. Thank you so much for your support. I'm, I don't, I don't even know what to say about it, but yes, it did happen. I, I'm not ashamed. It's just the fact that I was, it was, it was almost like the, I don't even know how to explain this. This was almost unhealthy. When I found out about BTS, like I, obviously I was late and it happened in high school. So literally when I found out about them, I would literally not do my homework and try and learn Korean so I could figure out what they were saying so that I wouldn't have to watch them with subtitles. It didn't get to a point where I was like, I wasn't like, I didn't get to that point where I was like buying all their merch and stuff like that yet. I'm surprised because literally I'm one to really spend my money on nothing or things that don't really matter. And I'm very surprised that I didn't get into that phase yet. And I'm, I'm happy. I'm grateful because y'all, I was this close, this close <laughs> to just slipping away into a bottomless pit and no one could ever pull me out i had to say this this was the first concert I, never, I ever went to but tell me why when we got there our original seats was behind like this big like 
thing to where like we couldn't even see them on stage but by the grace of god i don't know how this happened but let me tell you god is real because literally like this older couple had came up to me and my friend that that i went to the uh the bts tour with um the bts concert they this old couple they came up to us and noticed that like our seats was literal trash and they was like um we have better seats do you guys want to switch with us and i was like yes like what what type of question is that like give me the tickets like give me like just give it to me 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 just give it damn <laughs> that's literally how it was and it was the oh my god like literally our seats was moved up so much to the point where we was like past the stage so they're like right here and we was like a little bit past it so we had to kind of like turn around to see them that was the best one of the best experiences of my life like one of my first concerts ever but i think after that like i kind of fell out of that phase where i just like needed to see them and needed to have them because i'm like this is getting unhealthy and i also have like pictures of them in here <laughs> that's my mom not that but yes i have pictures of them there's more yes yeah the next thing that i have in here is a letter so no no guy besides this guy has ever written me a letter before in my life and you know that's a very romantic thing but at the time i was too childish to realize how romantic it was and you know like you know how kids want to be like laughing at everything and always like bullying other people i was like this kid is a joke what is he doing writing me a letter why can't he just come to me and talk to me face to face and so <laughs> um i'm not gonna say he wrote me this letter i really hope he didn't sign it oh well you can't see it because this this handwriting is literal like chicken scratch yeah this this boy had wrote me a letter in high school and he was um explaining to me how you know he felt about me and he had did something or like said something that kind of like hurt my feelings and kind of made me mad at him so he's like apologizing to me in this letter and he's really just like telling me how he feels about me i will keep this forever because like that's the only boy who's ever written me a letter and i don't even know if he knows that i still have it because we don't talk anymore but this i know this he's gonna try and deny it but this kid was madly in love with me okay literally any guy who who crossed paths with me automatically falls in love with me that's just the effect that i have on people so let me stop playing but yeah this 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 is forever um forever being kept by me another thing are pictures from when i was in um a play in high school i think i i participated in like two plays i yes i was a theater kid i wish i would have started in a uh, freshman year because <sighs> this 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 was a good time in my life it made me happy being in theater um i've never had like a lead role or even like a speaking role the best role that i probably had was when we did legally blonde and i was like one of the you know preppy girls next to the main girl who sang next to the legally blonde girl like i was i was one of them so these are pictures from when um these are ugly but these are pictures <laughs> from when i was in that play this is when we was in rehearsal and this is also rehearsal oh wait here's another picture from when i was in um that's me with the big hair <laughs> from when i was in legally blonde and so when I was in theater, I was only in there for two years, but there's this thing where like the seniors, you get what I'm saying? Like when it's time for us all to leave, everybody else besides the seniors, like they have to write the seniors um, notes or they can like you just put these papers up on the wall with, you know, their name next to it. And, you know, all these people wrote on these papers when I left and it literally can make me cry because some of the most sweetest notes are on here oh, and it like i've never been one to like be known or for people to want to you know like say something to me you know what i'm saying i don't I, I wasn't a kid that you know stood out like that so to see um to see like how much people cared about my existence and you know was sad to see me leave senior year like man it was just it was crazy like 
um like <laughs> that's so crazy i just found this message i just seen this girl at my job so this is from this girl named udo she says i'll miss your perfect eyebrows um i'll see you somewhere someday that's crazy i just seen her at my job but i didn't say anything someone said you're so beautiful inside and out don't forget to facetime me in college um timmy i can't believe we weren't friends before this show i'm so grateful it brought us together i love you so much someone else said i wish we could have had more time to be friends love you very much um and look this whole paper this whole paper is dedicated to me <laughs> oh my gosh this is from my friend uh joy i already know um i'm not gonna read all of it but it says dear my sweet baby timmy words can't express how much i love and appreciate you when i met you i knew that we were going to be friends forever i cannot thank you enough for everything you've done for me i've learned so much about you and gained so much from you and i want to thank you for that as well i love i can't i can't I can't read that right now. I'm sorry. I'm literally tearing up. Um, one last one. This is from my, my baby, Suella. She says, Timmy, I love your gorgeous ass. <laughs> You're the best. And I'm so lucky to call you one of my closest friends. Love you. I will always miss you. Like, it's been forever since I've, you know, come back to this box. And I don't know, like... <laughs> I'm, I'm really not trying to do the most, but that's sweet. I'm just so happy that I got a chance to, you know, be a part of something like that because I really was a family, even though there was still like different cliques and stuff. Obviously, that's how it's going to be in high school. But, you know, that really made me feel um, safe. You know, like being a theater kid, that, that was pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. Last thing, I believe, last thing, this is an EpiPen. Why? Because one of the one of the first times that I had um, an allergic reaction, um, I found out that I was allergic to shrimp. And yes, I did continue to eat it after that. <laughs> but it was this one time where I actually like I was close to near death. No, no, no. And I, I needed an EpiPen. And that was the worst experience of my life. I probably have a picture somewhere. I'm probably going to put it up because I really don't care about how I looked after like during that reaction because like my throat was swelling up i was hyperventilating because i couldn't find the epipens i turned my whole room upside down looking for these epipens and um and eventually you know i found them and my brother had to use them on them that was the first it hurt so bad that was the first time i, I ever um cussed in front of my mom and before i cussed obviously i asked for permission <laughs> because i have a black mother and i was like mom can i cuss and and she was like yeah so when he stuck it in i was like son of a <laughs> uh, this is a reminder that you know if i want to keep living maybe i shouldn't eat something that i know i'm deadly allergic to yeah that's pretty much everything that's in my memories box if you stayed for the whole video i am surprised congratulations you just wasted a good however many minutes this video is of your life of your precious time how does that feel <laughs> i'm just kidding i really do appreciate you if you stayed this far um, hopefully this video wasn't too boring because i did get a little bit more uh, i opened up a little bit more to you guys in this video make sure you like share comment and subscribe click the bell to get notified when i post and yeah i think that's it i'll see y'all